What's good, YouTube? What's happening? What is up? Your boy, JJ, the Prince of Peace. How y'all doing? Yo, we got another episode coming out with y'all. And I just want to make sure that you guys are hearing what I'm saying because this is some real shit. And I'm not bluffing. I'm not joking about this shit. So the black man, black people are the reason why we are fucking up the weather. The weather. We are fucking up the weather. Yeah, the weather is why the, we are we the ones that's messing up with the weather. Um... Not with the weather, but we're messing with the weather. So, like, say, for instance, today was very windy. And what I did was, because I've been practicing with uh, telekinesis on the side wheel. So I actually happened to, and I know this is going to sound weird, but this is aerokinesis. So I happened to stop, not to stay, I'm not going to say stop the wind. You cannot stop the wind. You, I slowed the wind down. By looking at the trees and focusing on the trees and slowing the trees down, causing the wind to slow down. <clears throat> um, I'm aware that there's going to be a storm in the future. Uh, and uh, when I was finished doing the aeroquinesis in the, uh, admin, in, the, in the area, while I was riding my bike and I was walking and stuff back home, I was, I was aware that there's, there was clouds that were moving away from the sun moving away from the area when I looked up and I saw that it's clearer over this way and where I'm sitting, where I'm standing than uh, over here. So my my work, my magic is working. So I know it's working. So um, this is some, some stuff that I've been getting down as far as my out-of-body experience happened last night. The out-of-body experience that I had last night was so energetic. And I'm telling you, I haven't done it in so long. That's probably why it was so powerful. I still feel it now. And it's gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna keep feeling this till it gets stronger. And I'm going through the ascension process, or what are you gonna call it? The new age ascension process where you go up or some shit. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm just I'm just evolving. That's the fucking thing that, that matters. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm cursing. But the thing is, you guys get the, you guys got to get the idea right, the concept right with the, the, the evolution process of your soul and the uh, human body working with the soul and the spirit. Your mind, body, and spirit. So you you got to understand these things once you uh, get your knowledge right, when you start to study and research and ask questions and things of that nature. And do a little work involved with your spiritual practice because if you don't have the knowledge if you to get the knowledge you have to put in the work you have to study and put in the work and you would get the experience and the experience would be the wisdom that you will receive from the work that you have been doing faith without works is dead so there's a lot of dead people out here because their consciousness is so low and they're not vibrating on a certain frequency where they're uh out of harm's way and they're out of trouble and they're out of the negative atmospheric pressure of the people and the mindsets of the people that are influencing the masses and the people like-minded like myself. So the, where I'm out of the way of, of, of uh, trouble. I'm out of the way of negativity. I'm not with that the BS over here. I'm forward. I'm straight to the point. I'm on point and I'm staying on point. Now with this, uh, with this spiritual evolution thing going on, I'm going on with this uh, the throat chakra. I'm at the throat chakra with the uh, kundalini, the kundalini, and right now I, I had a little bit going to my pineal gland, so I'm getting there to an enlightened state. I felt bliss when I was on a train, yo. I swear I felt bliss. If I was just so relaxed, so mellow, so chill, yo. I was like Nirvana for a little bit, and I was just walking through a train station with that feeling, and I can control it, but I couldn't. It didn't last for so long because when I went outside, it was it was waiting, it was fading away because of the wind was blowing and the minds of the people was influencing and trying to get inside of my head because of the psyche, the psychic attacks and stuff that people do when they're trying to uh, be nosy and mind their, and you know they're not minding their business and they're trying to know the fuck they and assume things that you, they don't even know about you, that the psychic attacks like that, and just to be curious about what you are or who you are is just not asking the questions about it and then not coming to me and asking and then just being like very nosy and you know minding my business and 
and just being just completely uh, uh, oblivious to what the fuck is going on with the earth. What's going on with the earth is that she's evolving. I talked to her already on the bus. More than that, she's evolving. She's also destroying a lot of the uh, old things in, on the earth. And you're going to see storms and, and you're going to see a lot of uh, kind of like disasters going on with the earth because she's going through a process also with the uh, evolution and her uh, soul evolution. Her, 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 her energy is changing on the planet. It's changing. And what we're getting ready to do is getting ready to go through an uh, initiation to a higher octave of frequency and vibration. And this thus far means that you have to be vibrating on the highest frequency that you can possibly uh, uh, embody, that you can possibly can maintain and contain. Now, I'm on the highest frequency right now as, as far as my enlightened stage. I'm not enlightened yet. I'm getting so close to it because my kundalini is rising. I got one of them going all the way up to my pineal gland. I got one in my heart. So where do you think I'm at? I'm right here. So, you know, you got to come all the way up and then you'll get the nirvana all the way. You get the enlightenment stage all the way. I'm getting close to it. I had a little experience when I was laying down and I had to get inspired to make this video while I was listening to Bobby Hemmings. I got my black seed oil, so I don't got no cancer, no, no mucus in my body. Um, you got to take care of yourself. You got to. There's no other way to do it. If you don't take care of your mind, body, and spirit, it's, you're just fucking dead. I, I can't say it enough like that way. You're just dead. And there's, not light, there's no life in you. And what I had today from the out-of-body experience was so much spirit energy. I felt so alive. I, felt, I feel so alive now. I feel... I was running, yo. I was running and I could run so fast and I was just energetic so much. And it's like the spirit is just fucking, oh, like, like the pure energy is just abundant, yo. And you just, when you go out of your body, you, you return back to your, your, uh, your station where you recharge and you get your energy back and you go back to your body and then you feel refreshed and recharged and fully powerful, you know, something like that. I felt like that today and I felt so good and I was just, I was dancing all day today. I was playing musical chairs, dancing while the music was going. I was dancing, doing flips and shit, jumping over shit, and just fucking, just fucking awesome, amazing, amazing day I had today. And uh, more to that with this video. Uh, more to this video is uh, you gotta stay focused, man. You girl, you gotta stay focused. If you watching this video, I don't even, ain't, ain't, uh, ain't that much people watching my videos because you know why. It's because not everybody's on the same path as I'm on. Everybody want to be in the material world. Everybody want to do their bullshit. Fuck that. Fuck that. I want to straight go straight to the point with spiritual evolution and master myself and master the flesh. Because I'm stronger than most of these motherfuckers on this earth. Because the, the real leaders are Bobby Hammett, uh, Dr. Phil Valentine, doc, Dr. Freeman L. Uh, that's three. Uh, you got uh, all the other... Hotel people out there at Astrology 101, all them people out there that making these videos are the leaders. All right. And they're motivating and, and, and give, putting out the knowledge out there and get, putting the work in to do what they got to do to get you guys up to the fucking point. Up to the point. Up to the point. All right. I, I actually had felt like a little buzzing sensation, like right here at the back of my head. And I don't know what that meant right there, but it means that it's my crown chakra and. A kundalini needs rising. You got to use your mind. Use your mind for good. Use your mind for for something productive, something useful. Because if you use your mind for nothing and little shit that doesn't fucking matter, you're going to waste your mind away. And your mind is going to be stuck in a conditioned state. And you're going to be doing the same shit, the little shit, dumb shit, over and over again. All right, you got to get right. You got to stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. And you got to know what you're doing when you're going into this magic stuff. Because your mind is magical, your spirit is magical, your soul is magical, your body can, can, I don't want to say this, conduct the, the I want to say conduct, like conduct, like conduct the results so that you can see it for yourself how the fuck magic works because your mind has the power to use magic. Your soul is the initiate, your mind is an initiator, or no, the soul is an initiator, the mind is a, tool to use the magic and your body is the, uh, the the one that actually acts it out so 
first it's the spirit, then it's the mind, and it's the body doing all the things that it does. I'm not going to go into the depths of it that, but you got to read and do your research. And also um, look at read some books like the Kabbalion, the Kabbalah, or uh, I got some things on my phone. You got to look up the, the Sorcerer's Stone or the, you know, the, uh, the Solomon, Book of Solomon, the Sorcerer's Stone. What another Sorcerer's Stone? It's something else. It's a, uh, I'm trying to think. It's either the Sorcerer's Stone or the Alchemy Book. It's, just the, it's the Alchemy Book. And I'm reading that shit while I was going into my sleep. And then I had an out-of-body experience that night. And then... Cause I had I had got some fucking shit from the spirit, and I do my libations with the spirit and the ancestors and stuff. So you know I'm on point with Bobby Hammond with what he's doing, and I'm in tune with myself in the spirit realm because I know what the fuck is going on. At the same time, I have the knowledge of what's what's, what's going on, and I'm wise enough to know and to be in the place that I need to be as far as what was what's taking place in the future. So that I'm prepared for what's about to happen. Because it's going to be another war. It's going to be another destruction. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's not a total destruction. to Wipe up the whole fucking planet. It's going to be more of a, like a spiritual, mental destruction of the people. And the uh, physical decaying of, you know, not the decay, but like, they're going to wipe away. The people that are dead, they're just going to go. They're gone here. They're gone. They're going to go away. And I don't fuck with nobody with no bullshit. I don't fuck with that shit. I don't. I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't. I do not. I do not. And I'm staying positive and I'm staying focused on what I got to do with my mission. What I need to do to maintain my mainframe so that I can stay focused and get on my path. I'm on my path already. Why did I say that? I'm saying um, just to stay focused all the time, stay on point. And you need to know yourself. You need to know who you are. Because I know who I am. I know what I am. And I'm getting to know more of it. Because I know the foundation of it. The more I learn about myself, the more I can learn about what I can do. Because you have infinite potential. Your mind has infinite potential. You have infinite potential. So you have the process. I mean, you have the, the, you have the potential to go up. Which is to, to just forward. It's forward, basically. It's to progress. To, to keep going forward keep going farther that's the whole goal of the soul and also with the uh, wisdom that it, it gains and knowledge for your, your mind and your, your, your heart all that takes place all of it i'm not gonna go into depths and steps and all the basic shit i'm gonna just keep it real and try to make this video as quick as possible so that i can go back to my video all right and i'm going to get stuff ready for what i need to do because i got some stuff that i need to do in this material realm so that I can get this other stuff next. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Thanks for listening to your boys out. Signing off. One love. Peace. Peace. And um, hotel. And uh, one love. Because you got to share the love. You got to share the love. Now, what this feeling is also, I'm going to just say it real quick, briefly. This feeling that I feel from my spirit, it's like it's timeless. I'm not going to say time is involved with anything as such. I'm saying it's an eternal, eternity feeling of stillness and like pure energy. And it's very, it's, it's subtle. It's in it. And I can feel it. And when I, when I focus on it, I can feel it even more. And when I move and I act on my feelings and my spiritual energy, I can move faster and faster. And I can run faster with stamina and endur endurance, you know. And I just feel so much energy in me because I have this potential that I'm growing and the seed of, in my mind is blossoming. It's blossoming into something great. I know I'm going to be great. I already know. I already know. I'm going to be a great nigga. Great motherfucker. So I'm sorry for all the cursing, but you get the idea. The curse words are just expressions of how you feel. They're not cursing you. No, you can't get cursed from a curse word. Somebody say, fuck you. That hurts your feelings if they really meant it. Now, if you knew that, it hurts your feelings. But it's not a curse to curse you. To curse someone out, it's not cursing you. It's just to express, then, the impose. No, it's just to express the 
intensity of how you feel and what you what you mean in here in your mind. What are you saying out of your mouth and how you feel in your heart and say, hey, you know, you know, girl, I want to fuck that shit. I want to fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> That's just an expression. That's just an expression. I'm not using it for someone to actually do it on, but I might have to say that one day. I might have to. It's something that matters. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thanks for listening. Your boy's outside now. Peace.